back at it again. And let me tell y'all something. I got a good one for y'all today. This, oh man, it, it is crumbling at a rapid rate for the left. And it is fantastic to watch this whole thing fall apart. I'm so excited. I don't even want to talk a whole lot. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit the like button as well. All right. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. Make sure you guys are also following, following me on social media. All of those links are down below in the description box. All right. Instagram, True Social, Twitter. Now that Elon Musk own, owns it, shout out to Elon Musk. Make sure you guys are following me on Twitter. Free speech, baby. Okay. Um, yeah, all of that good stuff is down below in the description box. Make sure you guys are following me on all of those. And with that being said, let's dive in. That was Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer caught on a hot mic yesterday telling the president that the Democrats are in trouble in Georgia in the Senate race, also insisting that John Fetterman's debate performance did not hurt them too much in Pennsylvania. Biden and Vice President Harris will campaign for Fetterman in the Keystone State today. As the Daily Mail reports, the Democrats are pumping money into districts. Biden won there by double digits. Joining me now is the deputy editor of Restoring America for the Washington Examiner, Kaylee McGee. Uh they are so out of touch. In just about every poll we've seen over the past couple of weeks, inflation, the economy, and crime, and even education are ranking as the top issues. Very few voters are listing abortion as their number one priority. And the left continues, they're so out of touch, they continue to run on something that people are continually telling them, hey, this is not a big issue for me. Is it an issue to, to a lot of folks? Yes, it is. But because you have completely destroyed everything else around me, I don't care as much about this issue that you keep trying to put in front of my face. I care about these other five things more than I do about that. And the Republicans right now, they're addressing those other five issues while you're trying to address the 10th issue on my list. We're like, you know what I mean? Like they're so out of touch. I don't understand what's going on, but hey, I'm here for it, continue. And another really interesting stat about that USA Today poll is that 40% of Hispanics and 22% of black voters said that they would prefer a GOP candidate in November versus a Democrat. That's a significant gain for Republicans, especially in states like Arizona and Nevada, where the Hispanic vote is really gonna drive the results. Yeah, I mean, the financial stress out there, you could feel it. That same poll finds uh, how much of an impact inflation is having on Americans. 61% are eating out less. 50% say they're postponing or canceling vacations. 47% cutting back on groceries. And 45% are driving less. Gailey, I think you make a great point. Cutting back on groceries. And 45% postponing or canceling vacations. Take a look at that. Inflation. High crime rates, Right political divisions, which obviously we know the left is continuously pushing that. I mean, the right to an extent is, is, you know, to blame for some of it, but the left is for sure. I mean, my goodness, they, they, they throw division into everything. The, that situation, which they aren't really addressing, they're pushing for it. And then what's taught in schools. And you know what? It is crumbling at a rapid rate in terms of inflation and high prices. Take a listen to what Nancy recently said about that issue and tell me if she's out of touch or not. And the fact is, is that uh, when I hear people talk about inflation, as I heard them there, we have to change that subject. She literally just said, forget about it. They're so out of touch, but hey, it gets even better. It gets even better. You guys remember uh, this clip here that we checked out from AOC? Men. None of this matters unless there's a nuclear which you voted to send arms and weapons to Ukraine. Tulsi Gabbard, she's left the Democratic Party because there are a bunch of war hawks, okay? You originally voted, you ran as an outsider, yet you've been voting to start this Ukraine. You're voting to start a third nuclear war with Russia and China. Why are you playing with the lives of American citizens? You're playing with our lives. There will be no neighbors if there's a nuclear You voted to mobilize and send money to Ukrainian 
You're a coward. You're a progressive socialist. Where are you against the war mobilization? He's telling the right truth. You have done nothing. Tulsi Gabbard has shown guts where you've shown cowardice. I believed in you, and you became the very thing you sought to fight against. I believed in you, and you have become the very thing you sought to fight against. They are losing this in spectacular fashion. But hold on, it gets even better, even more recently, all right? Check this out. Senator, you have got to stop funding infested Ukrainian regimes. You are bringing us to the brink of nuclear you have got those billions could be used for a lot of good things here in the U.S. Instead of funding Nazis, in they're preparing a dirty bomb to detonate and blame on. This is not why we're here. I am here to make sure that billions of lives are saved. Instead of getting into a new. I, well, you've asked me. I heard you. I will this move is toward the exit. Yeah. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes, I'm Listen, black and brown too. Like and, black black and, and I don't want them to die in a nuclear. This is the time. This is the time. My tax money is funding because the Congress and the Senate are funding Nazis in nuclear. I love how they just sat there. Didn't respond at all. Nothing to say. Nothing, not a single thing. The only thing that was said in response, I, I, I take that back. They, they did say something. The only response was, this is not the time. This is not the place. What? And do you guys, as I was watching this, did you guys notice anything uh, within that image there? Take a look at this image one more time and tell me if you notice anything. Do you, do you, do you, I mean, are, are you guys, are you guys seeing anything crazy? Let me know. Tell me, type it in the comment section. What do you guys notice about this image right here? Hmm? But hold on, hold on, wait. These guys are so out of touch. It is absolutely amazing. I, I, I am just, I am just utterly in shock. And they have not learned the squad. Check this out. Don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. Please. No, no, please. Okay. <laughs> Another squad member being booed. Absolutely booed. They were cheering until they realized who was actually standing on that stage. Ilhan Omar absolutely booed off the stage to the point where the per where the guy who was standing on the stage was like, guys, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. No, please do this. Please do it and continue to do it. Continue to do it. I'm telling y'all, th this, this is just absolutely crazy. They have gone literally off of the deep end. The deep end. And remember... In that poll that uh, was put up there in that first clip that we saw, crime is one of the major things that people are concerned about. And how, what's, what's one of the ways that you stop crime? You put more police officers on the street, correct? Well, check out what Cori Bush said. A few Democrats now who still says, let's defund the police. Are you worried at all that that could hurt some of your colleagues going into the midterm elections? See, the, the thing about defund the police is we have to tell the entire narrative. People here defund the police, but you know what they'll say? Say reallocate, say divest, say move. Uh, but it's still the same thing. We can't get caught up on the words. We, people spend more time focusing on the word defund than they spend on caring and addressing the problem of police violence in this country. While crime is rampant, in this country right now she is still talking about defunding the police this stuff is just absolutely incredible i i listen i've tried to wrap my brain around what exactly is happening with the left right now like why are they choosing to go with these stances that clearly are not popular 
They are clearly losing on. They are clearly holding the L. And listen, I, I have yet to come up with anything. The only thing that I could possibly think of is that they have figured out a way to win no matter what. If you know what I mean, you know, I, I can't say exactly, you know, I got, I got to beat around the bush here, here a little bit, but that's the only, that's the only thing that I've thought of. They don't care. They just don't care. Go win anyway. Because policies like that, like what Corey Bush is trying to promote, get people hurt. As a matter of fact, hold on. I got a story here. Breaking news. Absolutely breaking news news check it out paul pelosi husband of house speaker nancy pelosi was violently assaulted by a suspect who broke into the couple's san francisco home early friday Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Still want to defund the police? Now that it's actually at your front doorstep, which I hope he recovers, you know? I, I, I don't wish ill will on anybody. It sucks that that happened because I don't want to see people hurt. But at the same time, these are the types of policies that you are pushing. And because these rich people think that oh because i live off out in the hills i'm not gonna have to deal with any of that it's different when it's at your front doorstep and that's why when we checked out these videos uh, uh that video with ami horowitz when he was walking around these lower income neighborhoods and he was talking to people actually in these neighborhoods that these politicians push to eradicate the police from he was actually talking to the people walking the street hey do you support the police do you want to defund the police do you want less police around here almost every single last one of them said no you would be crazy to defund the police around here we want more police around here it would be absolutely nuts to get rid of the police around here it's already bad but of course you have these rich folks who don't have to directly deal with these issues on a day-to-day -day basis they don't live in these areas they live off in, out in the hills off in the suburbs so they rarely have to deal with these situations so i i i wonder what nancy is going to say following this incident because obviously it's a serious incident someone came to your home they found out where you lived broke in and obviously did the unthinkable, which they shouldn't have done, which I'm happy they caught, they, they apparently caught the person, which I'm happy for, and it, from, from what I've heard, it, it seems like Paul is going to be okay, which is obviously good news, I don't want to see people hurt, but like I said, these are the things that you are pushing, <sighs> man, I, 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 I don't get it, I really don't, I, I really do not understand these folks for, for the life of me, you know, continuing to push all of this stuff. I mean, just, just, just look at this. Look at that. Inflation. Nancy said, forget about it. High crime rates. They're talking about defunding the police. All right. Political division. We know what the left always does. This situation. AOC's getting called out on it. Uh, 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 Elizabeth Warren's getting called out on it. What's being taught in schools? They're all pushing that crap. What are you... <laughs> I don't give a... <laughs> I just... Hey. Oh, man. Oh, man. People like Nancy Pelosi... I mean, uh, not Nancy Pelosi, excuse me. Tulsi Gabbard are being praised for leaving the Democratic Party. <laughs> Raphael Warnock was up in the polls not too long ago. The last poll that I just saw has Herschel Walker up in the polls. Which, stick around because I got a video on Herschel Walker later for you guys. But toss up with uh, uh, um, Oz and, and, and Fetterman. Uh, uh, Carrie Lake. I mean, pff, she's just extended her lead. Oregon. I mean, in, 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 across the board, obviously Abbott's going to win. Across the board, Kemp in Georgia. <laughs> Shall I continue? 
Like, the, 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 the alarm bells should be sounding off like crazy right now, but they're just like, oh, it's whatever. I don't get it. I don't get it. Y'all let me know what you think is actually happening, what is actually going on. Do you think that they do have it all figured out and they don't care because, you know, they figured out how to win anyway? Let me know in the comment section. Was the other day when Hillary came out and said that the Republicans figured out a way to um, win, you know, under any circumstance, do you think that was her trying to put the attention on the Republicans so nobody paid attention to the left because they're the ones that have actually figured it out? Or are they just complete idiots? That's definitely a possibility too. <laughs> Y'all let me know in the comment section below. Like, share, comment. Hit that subscribe button before you go. Make sure y'all share this video. <laughs> People need to see this foolishness. Peace and love. I'm out.